Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I am so excited. You already know, but we are starting Mega Unboxing Week. So uh, I'd like to say I planned this, but this idea came to me this morning and I'm that type of person that like, have an idea, I have to go with it and I get like fully into it. I'm like a zero to 100 like person. I guess I'm a true t bull, like Taurus, is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we are going to be unboxing a lot of boxes this week, and we are going to start off with beauty boxes. So uh, there's going to be at least five videos, I'm assuming. Um, we'll see how it goes. You guys know I can talk. I'm going to try and make <laughs> the videos like 30 minutes each. Like my camera shuts off at 30 minutes, so we will see. So you can probably tell we're going to start off with some mainstream beauty boxes, like more popular ones. We'll start off with like Ipsy and BoxyCharm and see how many we get to. I think we have like between eight and 10 beauty boxes. I'm pretty sure one's outside. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we're gonna play it by ear. There's no rules here, but we are going to have daily videos and there's going to be other daily things like little prizes and some fun stuff going on. I keep coming up with more ideas and I was like, stop it, you gotta film. Like write down the ideas, you can think of more later. But for the fact of the day, uh, I'm gonna kinda do it like quiz style I think. So I will say something that has to do with the fact uh, and you leave your answer down below and then at the end of the week I will pick winners so there'll be little prizes. And I'm hoping that we end this mega unboxing week with a bang, with a big giveaway. I just realized we're like 16 subscribers away from 12,000. So uh, hopefully we can get there. If you guys are not yet subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you did. Uh, my name is Kitty, by the way. I open subscription boxes here on our channel all the time. I can't say daily anymore because I have not been on track, but we're gonna get all these boxes out of the way. Uh, and yeah, what am I gonna do when these are all gone? I have like 26. <laughs> well, no worries, you know, more are coming in. So we're gonna go by category and then at the end, we'll just do whatever's left because I'm sure some boxes will roll in. I know they will. So I will be sure to leave timestamps down below. Also, I do like chapters. So if you hover over the progress bar, you can see uh, the boxes and skip around if you like. I know not everyone likes these long form videos, but a lot of people do. Uh, so after this week, we'll probably do more shorter videos like one box at a time because we'll just not have as many to do and so you guys are happy I want all of you guys to be but I think those chapters probably help for those who want to like come back and watch uh, the remainder later hopefully you guys can let me know uh, so did I say everything I wanted I think so there's been so much on my mind all day <laughs> Uh, so let's go to the fact of the day and I think this one I don't know if I've ever really talked about it if I did it hasn't been very often Because uh, it's not really part of like my present life. Well, it's not at all, but I used to be an athlete like I'm not the sporty type at all And I definitely don't consider myself to be I don't really even work out unless yeah, I don't work out <laughs> I don't even know what I was gonna say. I'm like going up and down my stairs like that's just a joke, but uh yeah, so like first half of my life, maybe a little bit more, I was a competitor in a sport. So I want you guys to guess what sports did I play, perform, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm trying not to give anything away. So I'm hoping uh, when we have our 12K giveaway, which by the way, I meant to say this a few minutes ago when I was introducing myself, if you guys have not yet subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you did and it would help us reach our goal and have that big giveaway. I'll probably have it either way because that's how I am. But I think I'll announce the winners then, so you have like a few days, depending on when you watch this, to uh, leave your answer down below. So yeah, I was an athlete. <laughs> it still like makes me laugh. But let's get started with Ipsy. So usually with beauty boxes, I like to review items at the end from the month prior, and I know a lot of people like that, so I apologize we're not doing it this month. I think I said I would uh, like at least twice now, but we're getting back on track, okay guys? Uh, and I will review things at least in my empties video, so I think that's a better place to re review like fully. Uh, but I do like doing little reviews, mini reviews as we go through. I will do a quick Ipsy bag tip of the month, and this one kind of has to go with what we've talked about in the past. I did have some screenshots of your Ipsy bag tips, but I will save those for next time. Uh, my Ipsy bag tip of the month is that I like to reuse them by uh, putting giveaway prizes in them and shipping them to you, uh, which I know not everyone here is a YouTuber, but you can also do the same thing in like terms of gifts, or if you have a Mercari or Poshmark, you can put stuff in there. It's really nice, it, it's like the packaging or like whatever, your gift bag and it also is like an extra gift too. So that is what I do and 
Yeah, you better believe it. All you winners this week are gonna get an Ipsy bag, I'm sure. A few minutes in, I can feel the sweat coming. Uh, and I broke a box light. I don't know when, I just realized it when I was setting up. So if the lighting's different, I apologize. I'll have to work on that. I won't know until after I'm filming. But Ipsy, so I have my paid bags here. I already opened my PR bags. If you guys missed that, I will link that down below. And I will leave links to all the boxes this week that I'm opening, um, well, in each video. So all the beauty boxes I'm opening today will be linked down below and any pricing, like. I may have not said it out loud because we're gonna try and go a little bit quicker or you just um, didn't missed it or something because there's gonna be a lot going on and I'm jibber jabbering. The pricing will be down below as well. So Ipsy, I know the pricing of the regular bag is $12 and I have the Ipsy Plus here, which is 25. You guys next month is Ipsy X. Which, how much is that? Oh, some of you winners may even be getting this bag or one of you. I always save all my packaging. I say this all the time, but I don't think it's bad to tell people, save your stuff, you can repurpose. So the theme this month for Ipsy is Dream It, and inside they go by our signs, our astrological signs, and gives a beauty resolution for you. And for Taurus, it's like the one thing I do. It's like the one good habit I have. But it says, make a habit for healthy skin and don't skip the sunscreen. I live in Florida, I'm looking. <laughs> I also stay inside. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't say what items are in here, and it looks like I added on some things, so. I'm not prepared. Oh, you guys, this is actually good that I'm not prepared because I just opened up my Ipsy app and it says pick one of your February products. So it's that time in the month. Not that one, no, more fun one. <laughs> so I am going to pick, so my selection. Should I tell you or should I not tell you? Cause that gives a clue away. So if I look different, I pause the camera for a minute. Whenever I don't film for a few days, I'm usually really scattered in the beginning of my videos. Don't worry, it'll come back to me this unboxing thing as we go so I had to figure out what was in my glam bag and what was like the extras and stuff and I got it all figured out so let's start out with the choice item and I picked a concealer of course if there's ever a complexion product I have to try it and this is by item beauty and I think this was created by like a TikToker. Uh, and this is the air hug concealer I got it in one fair neutral, so like the lightest shade. Ooh, it's got a, a big doe foot. Hmm. I am excited to try this out. Looks like it should be a good shade. Sometimes the lightest is dead on, like, and then other times, like, way too light, which is interesting. So, but this one looks like it should be a good shade match, but will it work? We shall see. And then we have. A lip product here by Jewel Smith, and this is in Skinny Dip. And in my head right now, I just decided I am not going to swatch everything because I likely will be giving things in this video away to the who wins. I think I have some ideas already of what I'm giving away, but um, and for time's sake, because <laughs> we're already getting behind schedule. So next up is the Formula 1006 Thirst No More Moisturizer, the Fruit Complex in White Tea. And this is one fluid ounce, so this could be deluxe size or it could be full size. Um, that's one thing I love about Ipsy, the regular glam bag, the $12 bag. It's my number one recommended beauty subscription if you're just getting started because you get a lot for $12. You always get a full size item. I'm like, the last two items in the box are a brush and then two sheet masks, which I would consider to be full size. Like this brush is probably worth around then. This, I can tell just by looking at it, is by SL Miss Glam and it is the Foundation B12. 12 I should probably take more of that but I don't really use foundation brushes like this but just because a brush says to use it one way does it's just like guiding you you can use a brush however you want maybe you're like lucky enough to have huge eyelid space like eyelid space to <laughs> do eye looks this covers up my whole eye pretty much but maybe you're lucky or I can use this to like set it or set my under eyes I can see myself doing that I don't really use product powder that much anymore uh, but now the last two items, we have a duo by Suai, I'm probably saying that wrong, but the Suai Hanbang, Hanbang Mask Hyaluronic Acid, and Hanbang, or however you say it, is Korean for or Oriental Herbs. So this one's moisturizing, and then the next one is their Collagen Mask. I like both of these. Aging Hydration, yes. Anti-aging. I don't want to age anymore. 
So that was everything in my regular glam bag. I think it was a good month. Like I always say this, like I'm, I'm trying to like stray away from sheet masks because they're wasteful. Um, but let's see, is this one biodegradable? Yeah, it is. Oh, it said it right there. That was so quick. So if it's biodegradable, I feel better about it. Uh, but like, honestly, I will not reach for my other masks if I have sheet masks. So I, I do like them and that makes me feel better. And the concealer is definitely what I'm the most excited about. And the moisturizer I'm not, but I don't really get excited about skincare anymore because I have so much, unless it's like something I've been dying to try or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so let's move on to the plus. So I already know this, but they messed up one of my choices. I think this is the first time that's ever happened to me with Ipsy or like many boxes. I don't know, but I'm not really mad about it. But I'll be honest, this is not my favorite Ipsy Plus because I did look. So now with the Ipsy Plus, it's going to be replaced every three months with the Ipsy X. So that's probably why I was like confused for a second when I opened up my app today because usually for the Ipsy regular like glam bag, Ipsy glam bag, I don't know why I like, I'm just to say regular just to make sure it's clear. But for that one, you usually choose on the second of each month, right? Or is it the plus? Oh, no, no, no. It is the regular glam bag. It's the plus you choose on the second. Okay. Uh, but... What was that? Where was I going with that? I don't know where I was going. Let's just get started. But so, oh, I know what I was going to say. So Ipsy Plus is the $25 bag and you get five full size items and you get to choose three out of the five. So when you customize, they show you two items and then you pick three. And the two they chose for me, I think, well, I don't know. It was for sure this one. And I think the idea of this is super awesome, but I just don't need it, unfortunately. <laughs> Billion dollar brow, the best brow tool kit ever. So it has like tweezers and like some scissors and um, a spoolie and like whatever that angled brush. So maybe I'd use that brush and the spoolie, but I have some already. Uh, I barely have any eyebrows, so I definitely don't need the scissors. And I have tweezers already I don't use because I've been trying for like years to grow my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening so yeah I'm this is gonna be a giveaway item for sure and then I think oops, oh, is that the first drop of the day and then I think this was the other item, item they chose it must be so I've had this in the past I think I've had two I might have one in my beauty room now I don't know how old it is but this is by Thrive Cosmetics a brand I really love but I don't have it on my face right now it's shocking I know um, I'm trying to use up other mascaras I've like opened you know trying to be less wasteful but this is their brilliant eye brightener highlighting stick in aurora and aurora is a rose gold shimmer and i do like this it's really pretty you can put it all over the lid or you can just put it on the inner corner it's like a highlight uh and i just don't really reach for these products much so i'm gonna give this away or find a better home and then there are two items I am excited about. And the third is the one they messed up. How about we start off with the one they they gave me? Like, I pulled this out and I was like, I've had this before. And I like, added it on or used points. I redeemed points um, for this. So I I was like, I did not choose this because it said it was a choice product. I actually chose like a primer, which I just wasn't impressed with the choices. And I'd actually prefer this because I'm going to put this in a giveaway. I think I told one of my channel members this was going in. Um, a giveaway that already happened because I said I was going to send out everything after I open all these beauty boxes. I'm like, I'm going to have some stuff to give away. Like, So this palette, I think it's pretty, but you definitely need another like palette with it. Or you don't, but I don't mind grabbing multiple palettes. Like the other day I used five palettes for one look. Like, <laughs> I'm ridiculous like that. So you get H uh, eyeshadow shades, two highlights, and a double-sided brush and a mirror. So, yeah. I'm not mad at it because I can share it, but, and I like it better than a primer, but that's a bummer, I guess. Uh, but the next two items I'm really excited about. So Complex Culture is a brand I have been really falling in love with, and apparently it's an Ipsy brand, and I love their packaging. It's like all sleek and nice, and they always include something that like recommends a brush to use and how to use their products. So they're very beginner friendly. Like, I think that's awesome. This is, what is this exactly? Their highlight palette or something. I threw the box in the ground. Their gold lighting highlighting duo. So yeah, the mirror is always nice. And I'm guessing this she might, oh gosh, the lights. Someone told me I should, I'm gonna be better about this now. Okay, let's see if it, you can tell better. I will try and insert clips I think, I don't know, something changed with my settings. Oh, look how dark that is. I 
I feel like this is like ASMR in a way. Okay, I think that is good, but I apologize. I did notice that too, someone left a comment. I don't know what changed, because normally that doesn't happen, because I never change my lighting, like ever, but it's like brighter or something, even though I have less light. But thank you for drawing that to my attention. Sorry if you couldn't see anything, but I think these are pretty and I'm excited to try them out. <laughs> Their brushes are my favorite. So this little sheet here tells you what brush you should use plays well with their all over highlight powder brush. Their brushes are the best. That's what made me fall in love with the brand. And I don't think I've tried any of their highlighters yet. So I'm excited about that. I'm sweating. And then the last item is by Glow Recipe. And I kind of think they're overhyped, but I do like some of their products, like their banana souffle moisturizer I really liked. But I'm all about like the lip balms and like stuff like that. And this is their Glow Recipe Lip Pop in watermelon, I believe. So. If it smells like watermelon too, I am so down. Mm. Watermelon Jelly Rancher, like dead on. So it looks like a lipstick, but it is a lip balm. Now I'm getting all into this. This video is gonna take me a million years. Yeah, maybe the lighting is better now, I don't know. Oh yeah, so there's you can barely see anything. Maybe like a very light pink tint. I'll show you, but I don't think it just looks moisturized. Oh yes, I want one. I haven't had a Jelly Rancher in forever, but that, it smells like exactly like it. So it's like art, like artificial watermelon. I don't know. Yeah, watermelon doesn't actually smell like that. Since when does this couch make noise? Probably since my big butt sits right here more often. Uh, but that was everything for my paid Ipsy bags and. I'm gonna turn on the air and we're gonna talk about BoxyCharm Premium. <laughs> I think I fixed the problem. I'm just like crust up against the wall. <laughs> okay, BoxyCharm Premium. <laughs> How much does it cost? $35 a month. So again, with this box, you get to customize one item. And this is like the middle tier for the BoxyCharm boxes. The theme for January is Fresh Start, very fitting. And on the back of the Fresh Start card, it lists, I keep getting thrown off by how they don't have a variation number. Like mine says C2101209 PM. My last one was BA, my regular box for the month. But you get six to eight products and a higher value than the regular box and generally I think it's worth it. How about we start off with the Summer Fridays product? So in the base box I was saying I had just gotten an email that this product was recalled but it's such like a well-known product like I've heard of this. So it's the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask and it's like supposed to be really hydrating that's why they call it jet lag so like when you're flying your skin gets more dehydrated and just travel in general makes you tired and this is supposed to be really helpful but essentially essentially well, essentially, they put more, like too much essential oils in it, uh, and it irritates some people's skin. What is the consensus? Can we try this still? Because I want to try it, but I don't want to like. Is it recalled, or they just have a warning? Because this, I've heard like a bunch of like beauty gurus talk about. Can't remember who, but I know they like it. Let's smell? No, oh, I guess I don't know. Wow, and this is $48. So I will look at your comments because you guys are the smart ones that are on top of it. Uh, and the next product I'm excited is an Ofra palette. Even though I got the Ofra Black Friday palette, I was gonna use it today with this look, but I ended up just using the Nabla palette I have. Can't think of the name right now. Um, and I don't think I like, need that palette, but this one has multiple things. So there's eyeshadows, a bunch of highlights, a bronzer, and a blush. And I am an Ofra stan, like with a lot of things. Like I have all their, not all, because I have a million. I have a lot of their highlights, I realized. And since I do, I'm like keeping all of them. I didn't declutter any, so I can like compare and show you guys. Because like the one thing I have like all of, or a lot of. Uh, but, and look at this shit up there, you know. Okay, we're not supposed to swatch everything in this video, but... Again, we don't have rules, and if anything is greenish looking or blue, your girl needs it. 
Okay, let's see if I can. If I can't get this to focus at all or like show you the true, like what it looks like. Oh, from far away, it looks like it. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Oh my god, it's my middle finger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. What is this? Oh, smile, you're beautiful. It's so true. I'm saying that to all of you, not like me. Like, I am so beautiful. We all are beautiful. This is the Good to Go palette, mini mix palette. Mix and match shades. I think, yeah, this is really pretty. Ooh, I want to swatch there. I'm excited about this. And that highlight in the middle, there are four different shades. Let's see what, it's called All of the Lights. Oh, I think I've heard that one. Yeah, it's our best selling highlighter, All of the Lights, which I don't have. I might have some of the individual components. One looks like Star Island, maybe, and Pill Talk, and is it Rodeo Dry? I don't know. I probably have all of them, but I'm excited about this. I haven't gotten Ofra in a box in a while, besides my Ofra, like, build your own box, or whatever I got recently. This is $39. I'm all paranoid about the light. And the item I chose was by Fenty, and this is their Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder, and I chose it in the shade Lavender. Uh, I'm really curious. Like, this is the lightest shade that was an option. I feel like a lot of the choice items were sold out by the time I looked, but... Oh. Pretty sure, but still I think I would have chose this, because... Ooh, I like the packaging. It's a lot of powder. Oh, and I like it. So, you know, the little like holes where you get the loose product out. Oh, my kids are about to attack each other, I think. It's okay. It says FB. Oh, and it's easy to take the tape off. Have you guys ever had loose cutting powders? And, and then you finally get it off and it like goes everywhere. Yeah. I just kind of scented. I just felt the urge. I'm like, I shouldn't like put my nose into powder, so people might get the wrong idea if I don't notice. I think we're good. Can you? Tell? I don't know. It looks like there's like a little bit of a tint. Like, it looks more white than lavender, but I could see that. Mm. It feels really nice. Like. Mattifying in a soft way. Does that make any sense? I'm excited to try it. I can probably use some. Yeah, I've been sweating. I always keep a powder brush nearby when I'm filming. Because <laughs> that sweat glow. Which I actually like. I haven't been using powder, so I'm just... Uh -uh. Half of my face. Oh, it doesn't look cakey at all. And it definitely helped with my like, glow, but without taking all of it away. So, up close and personal, powder, no powder at all. Like, I didn't use any powder products today. You can still see my highlight, my cream highlight coming through. Yeah, it smells good. But very light, because I'm not a big fan of fragrance on my face at all. Maybe I should use that Sunday, Fridays, anyway. I am happy with my choice. Because usually, like, I can tell when something's going to look cakey a little bit later. Like, this is very light and airy and feminine. I don't know. Something about it is really, like, the whole, like, vibe of it. And this is... Oh, we have two Fenty products. Oh, man, there's still three things left. $32 in the next Fenty item. It looks like a mascara. You know, the full frontal uh, volume lift and curl mascara. Full frontal, like, I'm so, did you see me smirk there? I like have a 13 year old hum sense of humor, like. I do like the overall aesthetic of Fenty. Have you guys tried Savage by Fenty? If you have, let me know your experience and how it fits and everything, especially if you're busty. But even if you aren't though, please let me know how it fits because that still matters for everyone else reading the comments. 
Uh, so the mascara is $24. And then we have some PMD, or just one, I thought this was gonna be a pack. The PMD Silver Pure Silver Infused Microfiber Makeup Removing Cloth, antibacterial, ultra soft, and reusable. Get back to your pure self with silver. So this is a makeup remover, and my cat's already crying. My camera's already about to be like at 40 minutes, if you count the other time. That's why we say no rules. This is $30. That's a lot for a makeup removing thing. What time is it? 520? Ooh, this is soft. I like the size of this. And look, there's a little thing here so you can like hang it somewhere in your bathroom to dry. I like that. I wonder if this one you should wash first. Yeah, you probably should. It's just polyester. Why is it so expensive? The last item is by Laura Mercier. It's a lipstick in Plum Sublime. Ooh, I'm excited. Reflective packaging. Ooh, this looks so pretty. Oh yes, I love when I get lip shades that I don't have a million of already. Okay. Yeah, I've had a lip product by her, her the brand before that was curved like this. I don't have big lips like that. Like, I don't know, maybe in your lips it's easier. I guess it's not as easy to swatch. So I'm gonna... Ooh, it's easier to... God damn. Here, I'll just do it here too. So pretty. I think um, overall it is pretty good. Like I didn't think I'd like this powder as much as I did or do. And I'm not excited about this. Well, I would be. I kind of still am. I don't know. The Summer Fridays thing. Since it's such like a cult classic, like cult favorite, <laughs> I would think uh, that would be super exciting to be in this box. But now that it's like recalled or whatever is going on, uh, it's kind of a bummer. Not excited about mascara ever because you guys know even though I'm cheating right now on my love, uh, I don't need any other one. And that's all I have to say. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but doesn't suck. Okay, I had to restart the camera, so we're already like breaking my rule. This first one's gonna be long, but we're gonna do at least four or five boxes. Five boxes in this video, uh, but in each video I meant at least four or five boxes, because then I feel like if it's less than that, it's not really like mega, it's like medium, if it's like two, three, you know? But next up, let's do Allure Beauty Box. So it's now $23, and I honestly have no clue what's in this month, but like, it's been like, fine, but not amazing for the eight or $7 price increase. A card here that talks about the items inside a little bit. Another little piece of paper. Ooh, is there a nail set in here? I hope so. Manny Mean Allure, hand-packed by Allure. Oh, is this one of the items? I thought this was just a card. Oh. Manny Me, welcome to the future of manicures. Scan nails. <laughs> what? Uh, shop Manny's redeem code peel and wear. I have been cleaning a lot lately. I, that's kind of died down, but I mean, my nails are awful right now. I'm letting them and my hair like, well, totally different, but I'm not doing my nails right now or doing any press on things, but I miss it and I will start soon because they're gross. I'm not using any heat on my hair right now, so if it looks blah, that's why. I'm just blah and I'm trying to bring myself back above blah. So we have a full size item here. I don't see any nail things. We just got a $30 gift card, by the way. Oh, little itty bitty. Okay, mind. The full size product, I thought we were supposed to get two, but I only see this one unless the sponge counts. I just called it itty bitty. <laughs> Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. I like this a lot, unless it's different. I think this is the one I had, uh, but it seems like they upgraded it a bit. I had to toss mine because I realized I had it for like over two years probably when I was doing my huge declutter and house clean. And it's like one of those cleansers you like rub and it gets like the stuff on your face. Like it looks like it's removing dead skin cells and grossness, but I think it's actually like part of the like composition of this that is that like peeling little like balls. It sounds so gross or not right what I'm saying, but it actually does really make my face feel smooth. But the point of whatever I was just saying is that it doesn't actually like remove skin. I don't know. I just should stop talking. But pretty much it's a gentle exfoliator you use once or twice a week. And I'm excited to have it. I don't need to open it right now because I have a different brand open.
And then we have a product by the Beauty Crop. Maybe this is the full size. And I was gonna talk about the itty bitty thing that will be after this if I remember. The Blush Duo, oh I hope it's cream. I wear only cream products now, it's crazy. A fragrance and mineral oil free powder and cream blush duo, okay. This packaging is cute. Looks kind of gross on the cream side. But I think it's just from the packaging. There's like a little black speck. And I'm just still like kind of grossed out by it. I'm not even going to get into it, but like if I see anything that's like... And then like a piece of glitter. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything concerning. It's not like mold or anything. It's just packaging. Plastic, I guess. See if you can tell. Yeah, I think that looks true. Isn't my necklace pretty? Half of this video is gonna be like my boobs in your face. So the itty bitty sponge, I recognize this by Base Blue Cosmetics. This must be their concealer brush. Yeah, the mini air sponge, full coverage. So I do like their bigger one, the air sponge. What is it? The full coverage one. They have like two. This is the one that's like more like beige and there's a pink one. And the one that's pink I think is for more like light coverage. This one's for full and you can use this one as perfect size for your concealer. And I'm always, always happy to get more sponges because you have to replace them every month or you should. I think they say like two months, but I, I use them every day. So I usually do like a month because sponges gross me out. The next item is by Lassitan and this is a, not a cruelty free item. The packaging is really cute. It's their Reset Serum Immortal line. It's in their Immortal line. God. My, I thought I'd film two videos, but my battery's already dying. I wonder if I need a new battery. Oh yeah, you can see the colors. Isn't that cool? So this will probably be going to someone. Look how pretty it is. I oh, love it. And then we have one more item. This is by True and Luscious. Why did I have to say it like that? The Super Moisture Lipstick. It's made with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E and vintage rose. This might be full size too. So we just got this brand, the face palette in a boxy term, right? Or, I don't know, I think it was. Ooh, this is a good like everyday palette. This is brown, like more warm tone. It feels really creamy. I probably have other ones like this, but I swatched it, so now it is in mine. So this by far was the best alert. It's been a while, and I'm probably saying that because there's more makeup. <laughs> I just get more excited about that. So yeah, we got way more. Usually it's all skincare. I think last time it was all skincare. I do wish we actually got the nail thing. I like to look into that because if they give you thirty dollars for it. How much is it? You know, it doesn't say the pricing on here that I can see. So, the lipstick, yeah, this is full size and this little blush duo I'm excited about. Fairy Skin, I like this product already and had to get rid of mine pretty recently, so what am I missing? I don't know. Well, yeah, the Lassiton is the only thing I'm not gonna keep. And yeah, that, by far the best allure in a while. But now, quickly, let's go over the most affordable beauty box that I'm aware of. It's free, and then you pay $5 shipping, and it's seasonal. And it is by Walmart, and I think it's always worth the $5 so far, and I've gotten it for a few years now. Uh, and I'm sure this will be too. It feels heavy. Like, seriously, like, one item usually, like, covers the $5. Uh, sometimes you'll get full-size, like, things or, like, foil packets or a mixture of both. And uh, let's get started. Oh. Oh my god, we got even Tampa? This is definitely worth $5, just by looking really quick. So if you don't subscribe to anything and you really want to and you're on a budget, I mean, if you can't afford it, just don't subscribe to anything. I'm never forcing you guys. This is me just showing you what the options are. <laughs> um, and I do pay for this one myself. I pay for this. A oh my god, this whole video are boxes I paid for you guys. It's been a while. I mean, besides individual boxes. And I am trying to be more like transparent. I think I always am. I always leave something down below, but... 
in the next one too. Yeah, so these are all paid. But anyways, if you're you really want one, but you don't have much money, but you have a little bit of money, five dollars, I think it's worth it. Um, and now they even include like cards, so there's variations. Um, I guess so. It tells you what the full size value is, and you can like scan it here. And if you fill out a survey, I guess you win the chance, or you have the chance to win a hundred dollar gift card. That would be pretty sweet. You can get like anything at Walmart groceries, but more fun stuff too. Let's start with the tampons. I have used this brand before. I saw Jessica Braun, like she's sponsored by them, and they have a subscription service um, where you just can like pick what period products you want. Like nothing extra comes with it. It's not the most exciting, but I did open it. Um, I used her code. And they're organic tampons, which is what I use and prefer. And this is, so there's eight of them in here. So yeah, they're overall like mission and everything about the company. I really was a fan and it's made by women. It is 100% organic, cotton, BPA free, plastic applicator, free of synthetic fibers, fragrance and dyes, chlorine bleach. Never put anything fragranced in your vagina, please. Your vagina is a self cleaning organ. You don't need even soap down there if you don't want, but like it's fine just outside of it. PSA of the day. Your vagina is perfect. Don't do anything to ruin it. And the next item is by Hard Candy Long Wear Sheer Envy Setting Spray. Ooh, I have so many setting sprays, but I've used one by Hard Candy before. It was like their mattifying one. I got it in one of those like Walmart favorite boxes. I want one. Are those, when are those around? Did I miss it this year? So 12 hour wear plus hydration. And this is a cruelty free brand and it's affordable. And I'm excited to try this. It fights humidity too. Where I live, it's humid, even this tiger. And we have a hand sanitizer in here, like a good size too. Uh, Earth to Skin Coconut and Aloe. It says it's vegan. It's made with 72% alcohol, soothes with aloe and coconut water. No animal testing, no parabens, all that. So awesome. Ooh, and there's a Neutrogena product, which isn't cruelty free, but this is nice that they provided it. Stubborn Acne. Uh, AM treatment. So this is with benzoyl peroxide. I want something, I know I, I probably shouldn't use this if it was salicylic acid, but I don't have any right now. And I like that for spot treatments better. Benzoyl peroxide does cause like staining or whitening. So you might want to use like a white towel when you're washing your face or like, I guess AM is better to use this because you're not like going on your pillowcase, like sleeping your face isn't going on your pillowcase. Um, but yeah, just FYI. But it is pretty effective. Just use it as a spot treatment. And this looks small, but as a spot treatment, this will last a really long time. And then Bio Oil Dry Skin Gel. So I was using their oil to help with like stretch marks, and then I, I used it all up, and someone told me they're not cruelty free. So I never bought more, and now I just don't care. Like, I embrace my body for what it is. And the Specialist Dry Skin Formulation. So I did like their oil, so I bet this is good. This is like a foil packet. And there's one more thing. Oh, it's a protein. Oh, it's collagen, so I probably can't have it. Vital Proteins Beauty Collagen. There's 12 grams of collagen per serving. Skin, hair, nail, and joint support. And it had also 120 milligrams of hyaluronic acid. Yeah, you can consume hyaluronic acid, too. Um, I'm not sure, like, I haven't looked at, like, studies or if, what, if it's as effective as topical, but... Collagen is usually from a animal source, so I'm trying to see where... It comes from. Sometimes it can be from plants, but it's rare to get in boxes. I haven't gotten any plant-based collagen. Okay, there it is. I couldn't find it. It's like in a se separate section of ingredients. Made with vital proteins, proprietary bovine hide collagen peptide. So bovine hide is from cows. So I will pass this along. But that was everything. 100% worth $5. I got tampons. They're organic. The ones I like. Settings for this is a good size hand sanitizer, like regular size hand sanitizer. Uh, two things I'm gonna use, but you know, five dollars. I think it was great. I would love to know you guys what did you get in all of your boxes. So I'm pretty sure like Allure, maybe there's one variation. I didn't look inside that card. But like usually one or two products vary, but our Ipsy's could be completely different. Our boxy charms could be completely different. So I'd love to know what you got. Our Walmart boxes even. I've talked to you guys before and you got completely different things. And I can tell by this card there's at least a few variations going on. And with the Walmart box, there is like two different profiles you can pick. Like you do fill out a beauty profile. Allure you don't. But all of the other ones you do. Look at me, I want to keep talking. But I have a lot more boxes to open. But it looks like I've been talking long enough. I'm going to edit this one, post it, and then film again. And hopefully stay on schedule. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Uh, hopefully the rest are more smooth. That usually is how it goes as I keep filming. I may talk a lot, but I get a little less weird. Uh, no, I get more weird, but the flow is better. <laughs> okay. That's it for today, guys. I am so excited. Um, don't forget to leave down below what you think I played or, and what's, what type of athlete was I? I was try I'm trying so hard not to like, give anything away. Uh, and also, if you guys have any questions for me, uh, I could use in upcoming like Fact of the Days. And also, a lot of people have been asking for an updated Q&A. The last time I did a Q&A, I think it was like the, when I hit 3,000 subscribers. So there's like 9,000 more of you now. Uh, so I will plan on doing that and I will incorporate it into these videos too. But yeah, leave that down below. Let me know your Fact of the Day, if you play the sport or whatever you want to tell me and what you got in your boxes. And that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you to my channel members. Your support means the world to me. If you guys wanna learn more about channel membership, there's always a link down below where you can learn about the perks and join. And I would absolutely love it if you did, but no pressure just by being here and watching is super helpful and supportive. And I appreciate it so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Stay safe, stay healthy. I love you. And I will see you for day two tomorrow. Woo!